Hey cousins, I just wanted to come on here because I was just thinking about something and I wanted to talk about it while I'm on the road. Please ignore these ashy lips and these ashy knuckles. <laughs> um, Y'all, I was thinking about word prisons. Word prisons, like words, you know how they say sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Words will never hurt me. I'm thinking about how even at 32, like, it's things that, it's word prisons that God is breaking me out of even now. Like, I remember when I was in the first grade, I'm 32, okay? I was six years old in the first grade, and I remember it was this girl named Patrice. I'm not going to say her last name, but her name was Patrice G. I almost want to say her name. Say her name! I almost want to say her name, one name but I'm not going to say her name. Her name was Patrice G. And she was a bully to me. My, in, my, in the first grade, she was out. I, I was a meek child. And she was a bully. Oh, she was a bully. She used to um, tell me every day, you're ugly. Every day, she would say, you're ugly. She would say, say it. Say, I'm ugly. And I would say it because I'm scared. And every day she did that to me. And y'all, it wasn't till like, I always thought I was ugly. You know what I'm saying? People would tell me how beautiful I was. You're really, and and especially like when I moved down here in Florida, like, girl, I'm hot stuff down here. Girl, you know they like I'm thick down here in the South. People would tell me, they'd be like, you don't got no dude. And I'm like, no. They're like, you so pretty. Like, why do you, but you're so pretty. And they would be confused. And I'm like, I'm not that pretty. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I realized that it was a prison that I, a prison that I put myself in where I didn't feel like I was worthy enough to be called beautiful. People would call me beautiful all the time. And I was like, I don't believe you, you know? some things words do hurt and words to me are worse than physical pain because physical pain you can heal from but when somebody hurts you here hurts you here in your soul you'll never forget it it's stuff your parents have said to you that you'll probably never forget it's stuff your siblings have said to you that you'll never forget. And inadvertently and unknowingly, subconsciously, you are living those lies. You'll hear people in casual conversation and be like, oh, I can't wear red because my mama said, I look, I'm too dark for red. Or, you know, I can't go on that side of town because my daddy always told me white people are White, only white people could be on that side of town. Just stupid stuff. And I believe that God wants to free us from those mental prisons that we put ourselves in. Or other people have put us in. Words are, be careful what you say to people. Be careful what you say to your kids. Be careful what you say to your, your spouse, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your best friend, your sisters. Don't call people stupid. I hear, I was in the store the other day, and this lady was calling her daughter stupid. And I'm like, dang, you don't know. She's going to come at your neck when she get older. She's going to remember that you call her stupid. She's going to realize that she's not stupid. And she's going to come at your mother freaking neck. She's going to come at you. Yeah, and she's going to come at you. Because you, because you didn't, you messing up her psyche. You know what I'm saying? Like, watch what you say to people. And it's a process. I used to say, my mouth used to be reckless, okay? It's a process. But all I can say is like, what works for me is to breathe before I do, before I say something. You know, you'd be like, and I'm from the DMV. We snap that quick. It don't take, it's not very, it's not, it don't really take that long for us to snap. The Maryland girls, the DC girls, the Virginia girls, it do not take very long to mm, say one wrong thing and it's off with your head, okay? 
So when you get ready to snap, just just hold it, hold it. Um, and when people say stuff to you, filter it. Does this line up with who I know I am? And if it don't, realize that that person is projecting on you. Don't let it stop what you got going on. But sometimes stuff hurts. And we have to release it to God. And be like, God, this really, really, really hurt me bad. And I need you to help me. Remind me not to say 295 at all today. Are they tripping? We do whatever they do in the middle of the day. I think that is so stupid. If you are, if you are over, you've never seen my video, you are over construction. Why do y'all do construction in the middle of the day? That's an emergency. Why do y'all do construction in the middle of the day? That makes no sense. None. Look at all this traffic. You know people, it's a Saturday. It's a Saturday afternoon at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. You know everybody and their mother is out right now. Why are you doing this? I digress. I love y'all so much. I just wanted to say that real quick. What do you, what do you feel? I want you to, I want you to do, do me a favor. I want you to put a comment under under of a of a mental prison of a, a word prison that you have been in that you're releasing right now whether it's you're fat you're ugly you're black you're whatever no more it's over we done i love y'all